Hey guys, so quick update. Today was very eventful to say the least. So we are still getting our new lighting installed. So right now, this is what our lights look like. We have the three J boxes above our island. And then we have these soft white, I think they are, light in the main living area. Not main living area, I'm lying. It's in the kitchen. And what we had installed, sorry. Let me close all these blinds real quick because it's nighttime. Literally, right now, we're just getting home. We had some neighbors over. I went to a neighbor's house. This is just, today's been a very social day. I've been a social butterfly or the social butterfly that I am. So, like I said, these are the kitchen light bulbs and what we're, oh, oh my God. Y'all, I, I thought I stepped on my cat and clearly it's, it's just laundry. So these are what the switches look like right now. Um, he's still needing to fill in this area right here or whatever. But we have these double rockers, one's for the under cabinet lighting and the other is for the J boxes. And this one's for the dining, which I just turned on right now. And these are, well, that one's for the kitchen and this one's for the chandelier that's coming in. I just really wanna show you the difference between the um, soft white, the lamp kind of warm, and the new ones that we got are the cool white. These are the cool white next to the soft white. Don't know if you can see a difference, but there's like a subtle difference. This one is like more of a true white color, like a daylight color, and this one's more warm, so it gives off, um, sorry, it's all blurry. So it gives off like a hue, like an orangey hue. You can't really tell on camera, but it's there. And with the cool white, it really just makes everything look like it's daylight, so the whites are more white versus you know the um warmer light making it like a more brownish color like this here this color light is perfect for lamps in my buffet area and stuff and the chandelier that i chose for the dining it has the option to be cool white or a warm glowy um a warm tone a soft white which is perfect because Sometimes I do like for, um, you know, to have this ambiance of the warmer tones. Like right now, this is a warm tone. And sometimes I like that, you know, especially around dinner time, I like the warmer tone. So I'm gonna leave this this color and then the chandelier, I have the option to change it to a warm tone and that's probably what I'd opt for. In the living room, they did the same thing. They did the cool white, which that's a side by side for you. Cool light versus, sorry, I just needed to focus. Okay, that's the cool white versus the soft white. It's like half the screen. Cool white, soft white. And so you could kind of tell the difference between the white wall. This side of the white wall has an orangey tone, while this side is more of like white. Had this been any higher of, I believe, um, Kelvin, it would have been more of a blue white, but right now it's just white, white. So it reflects more of the true tones of our items, and that's what I love about it. They moved around our furniture, so please disregard the arrangement here, because they kind of move things around, and I feel like they forgot how things go. So yeah, that's the kitchen right now. This is pretty much panning, panning to be like a before and after, so this is the before of the kitchen and the walkway and like don't get me wrong the warm is very nice it's very pretty it goes all the way through our mud room which is also the warm color um but yeah we just really wanted the daylight bulbs or i just really wanted the daylight bulbs i prefer the daylight, it makes the room lighter, brighter. Before we didn't even have lighting in the living room and dining room, we didn't have recessed lighting. We had like the J boxes for chandeliers and stuff, but we didn't have any kind of other lighting. And now that we have this lighting, it's like, oh, this is what I've been missing, but 
it's only been missing for the first month because I mean we've only been here for like a month and a half two months now and it was always on like the to-do list it was always high priority so it's all it was always in the works now that I see firsthand the difference between the soft and the cool white yeah I do have a preference for the cool white and I knew I had that preference before I even got them I don't know how but I just knew I wanted daylight bulbs inside my home that was like one of the check boxes ticked as soon as we got that going he says he also knows how to do security cameras so um we want to hard wire our security cameras because we have the option of wireless and battery powered and um what is it the ring that you like put the cord along the line of the house and stuff like that but i think the most seamless is the hard wire it just looks very seamless and that's the look we're kind of going for so i think that's all the lighting updates we have so far he's gonna come back on monday so i'm probably going to just keep this as one vlog and just keep it going and add on to this vlog on monday but that's all i have for tonight hopefully we'll get some updates on the whole camera thing i don't know if that's gonna be the next project because we have um project i think we're on project number four now i think this the lights are project number three or two three or two i can't remember i gotta look at the list me and mag we plan all this stuff and they're numbered each project is numbered and i gotta see what number we're on now but i think after these are um installed like you know the chandeliers and everything i think we're ready for the next project so which i'm excited because this one involves our tv because right now we don't have any kind of entertainment here like there's nothing there so i think that it'll be very cool to finally have our entertaining space complete and like i said before we really want to take our time with this house but i don't think we're willing to skimp on quality just to have something quicker um we want quality pieces and we're slowly but surely getting to that some of my pieces are from my old apartment which they are not the highest quality i have some ikea pieces here too but we really are aiming to over time replacing those and just sticking with the quality pieces anything new we're getting i should say anything new we're getting i want to stick to like quality like the permanent fixtures and stuff if it's something small of course like bigger piece items and permanent items we're trying to do like quality stay tuned for the next project because you won't want to miss it okay i'll see you at the next update